What's going on guys, Clint here with Classic Firearms. And guys, I'm here to do a quick unboxing of some Smith & Wesson Model 10s chambered in 38 Special that we got in. And I've only seen these come into the warehouse one other time. So I'm pretty excited to bust these guys open. These are the ones with the uh, four inch barrel. And they have that bull barrel on them, so it's a little bit thicker. And we've got them in two different models. We got the 10 sixes and the 10 eights. Really the only difference is the 10 eights have been a little bit more modernized. Other than that, pretty similar guns from what I can tell. So let's go ahead and just take a look at a few of them. I got the uh, 10 eights over here, 10 sixes on this side. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, those are sweet looking guns. So I've always been a fan of these guys, that old school cool, <laughs> like every you know 90s cop movie you ever saw had something like this in it. A very good looking gun so far, liking the grips on this one here. Very nice. Now the story behind these ones here, let's take a look at a 10-6. Uh, these ones came from a European police agency and I guess they finally got around to modernizing <laughs> to semi-autos and so these Smith & Wessons have found their way back home to the United States and this is what we've got now so again this one's a 10-6 here uh, they will they are surplus so you know whatever the officer may have done to them as far as grip variation goes or anything like that you'll see different wear on them but all good because like I always say that kind of speaks to their character right let's take a look at another 10-8 over here Yep, so far so good. Haven't seen too many variations. So pretty much what you can expect right along the line here. Very neat guns. And like I said, I've only seen these come through the warehouse one other time. So pretty happy we've got them back. And let's find another 10-8 here. Oh yeah, very nice. And that's what we've got on this guy. So again, you're gonna see different, you know, wearing as far as blue goes, or bluing goes, holster wear, things along those lines. We are gonna offer our hand select on these guys, so if you're looking for that best set of 10 for bluing wear, grip wear, things along those lines, hit that hand select option, we'll make sure we get you a good looking one, all right? But overall, I'm pretty happy with what we see. Let's take a look at a few more 10 sixes. <clears throat> there we go. So you'll notice a little bit of wear right around here, a little bit of muzzle wear right up front, probably from holstering and reholstering or unholstering and reholstering. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with what I see. And you'll notice too when we drop the cylinder, you'll see it right here where it says model 106. Might be a little difficult to get in there, I don't know. But you'll see right there on the frame. All right, let's take a look at maybe one or three more of these guys. There we go. I'll try to get out of the light for you. <laughs> but yeah, very happy we got these again. 38 special again, four inch, that thick bull barrel on these guys. Just really cool guns. All right. And what do you say? One or two more, Ryan? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's let's find another 10-8 over here. All right, and these 10-8s are looking good. Yeah, I'm definitely a fan of these guys for sure. So if you're looking for yourself a uh, true classic firearm, <laughs> we've got it here for you guys, pun intended. All right, okay, one more 10-6, and we'll take a couple of these back into the video room, and we'll get a little bit closer shots at them. All right, there you go. And guys, I, I swear, there's just nothing like that. Smith & Wesson trigger on, on single action. It is just so smooth if it didn't have a zip tie in the way. Let me get that out of there. There you go. And these are like, you know, original with the firing pin on the hammer. Just something you don't see with a lot of modern revolvers. So it's very cool. And again, just that, oh, that break on it. It's just so crisp. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. All right, let's take a couple of these here. Let's dig through some, see if we find something with some unique features. Take them back into the video room and show them off a little bit more. We'll be right back. 
All right, guys, back in the video room here. We've got a few of them that we just kind of pulled out just to take a look and see if we can find any differences on them. And I'm going to go ahead and start off with this 10-6 here because this guy's got a real unique grip on the left-hand side, so probably the officer broke that grip or something like that. I don't know. And uh, he needed a replacement for it and did that. Or maybe he just started the replacement and never got around to the other side because the other side looks still like your factory grip. So just a little unique feature. Again, these are surplus pistols, so... Uh, or revolvers, so whatever the officer decided to do to it is what we're going to get. And I think that's one of the neat things about working here is you get to see all these unique firearms and uh, what somebody may have done to them. So again, uh, like this guy right here, the only one that I have seen out of the very many that we've gone digging through actually has some Taurus grips on it, um, or at least Taurus logoed. I don't know. You can see where they don't match up completely, um, uh, but overall... <laughs> I don't know, they still look really good and they actually feel really good too, so I'm not too worried about that. But uh, this is, again, the only one that I've seen out of the very many that we've been going through. Uh, but continuing on, you'll just notice different levels of wear on some of these guys. Uh, these ones here, original Smith & Wesson grips. And this one right here is another 10-6, yeah. Yep. So just, again, what cool, unique guns. And uh, you'll notice too on this guy here, it looks like the bluing is faded a little bit differently on this guy is where it's more purple. I don't know what exactly would cause that, so maybe you guys could let me know down in the comments as to why we would see more of this like purple, I don't know if the camera will really pick up on that or not, but more of that purple tint to it, which is kind of cool. I like it. Then again, there's not, as you guys know, too many things I don't like, so uh, there you go. <laughs> Continuing on, just, see, just take a look at a couple of more of these guys. Another 10-8 here, and yeah, we've got these guys, and I think we've got them for an excellent price, so don't miss out on these Smith & Wesson Model 10s. And I'll mention one more time, I've only seen once before since I've been here with the company, and I'm always, I always get really excited when, you know, old school surplus revolvers come in, because these are just so neat, especially with the history behind them, because they were, you know, Smith & Wesson made here in the U.S., go to Europe for a law enforcement agency out there, and then they find their way back home, I think is pretty neat. So welcome home, guys. <laughs> All right, we'll let you guys take a look at that last one there. And that will bring us to the conclusion of the Model 10s. And let's go ahead and roll in to the fact that we are giving away that Alpine White Chris Vector right there, chambered in 45 ACP. Check out our video on that there where I get kind of goofy with a uh, Stormtrooper helmet and uh, missed a target as Stormtroopers do and it's because of the helmet, I, I guess. Anyway, check out Kendall Gray's video as well on that. Uh, it's pretty funny. I found it to be very entertaining. So check out Kendall Gray's video announcing the giveaway and how to sign up for the giveaway. Of course, visit our video, visit our site. It'll be at the banner up the top there. Click here to win type of thing. So don't forget to do that. Also too, go ahead and hit that little bell for notifications, things like that down here. So that way, you know, you get notified when we get cool surplus revolvers in or announce our next giveaway. So don't miss out at that. Subscribe, like, share, comment, all of that good stuff. All right, guys. And as always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless. God bless the USA. And we'll see you next time at ClassicFirearms.com.